village of Tea Kettle with uh, our brother, Mr. John. I, I met John about, what, four years ago when I brought out um, a group of young people from Belize City. Yes. In an old van that barely made it, but it did. Yes, yes. And so uh, after COVID came down and we all woke up out of our stoop, I contacted him and asked him to come out and see his place. John, can you tell us a little bit about your property and, and what all you're doing with, with, with what you have? Yes, yes. So here we have a collection of plants that we have been collecting over the past um, seven, ten years. So mm -hmm. here we have uh, breadfruit. Mm -hmm. We have uh, rosewood, it's rosewood over mahogany, there. It's mahogany. Uh, vanilla. It's a vanilla so, pod. Yes, this vanilla is hand pollinated um, and it has started to produce. Okay. Then this one we have here is sage. Sage, it's uh, like a seasoning or a, it has a aromatic flavor. Yes, you could smell it. Okay. Smell nice? Yes. <laughs> This is a yam. First spray. This one here is be careful with the well. Yes, sir. This one is cinnamon. So you know the chewing gum, big red. Uh huh. Big red. This is a, if you mash it up and smell it, you'll see that it has. Ooh, <laughs> smell it. It smells nice. Yes. What? It smells nice? Uh huh. Wow. So out of this, they make cinnamon stick. Okay. So, so, so this is a real deal. Yes, yes. Did you, did you had to um, import that because I know cinnamon isn't native to Belize. Um, I bought it at the agriculture showgrounds. Okay, nice. Agriculture showgrounds. Then this one is a gooseberry. Gooseberry, okay. Gooseberry. This is a jippy japa. Okay. Jippy japa, they make baskets with. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. And this one, this is a mango, one of my favorite mango in Cambodiana. Cambodia. Yeah, it's a young Cambodiana. Okay. And this is a Maliapu. Yes. Maliapu and Sawasap. All right. Sawasap. This is a vanilla here. Going again, no? Okay. Yes. So, John, I'm, I'm starting a... Uh, a little bit of um, uh, land clearing back in the Rockstone Pan area. Yes. Also speaking with friends at home and abroad to see if you could come together and do something. Uh, my wife and I, we, we uh, manage a feeding program underneath the, Pres the Presbyterian Church in Belize City. No? Yes. And um, what word of advice do you have for us concerning agriculture and farming? Yes, I encourage um, mm -hmm. the brothers to plant, plant what they eat and eat what they plant. Um, a lot of the Belizean diet is based on flour, mm -hmm. um, tortilla, fried jack, johnny cake. Um, but we need to use some of the local, because wheat isn't planted in Belize. True. So we have to um, plant cassava, plant breadfruit, mm -hmm. um, planting and convert it into flour and use it, or boil it, fry it, mash it. Um, the Jamaicans are much ahead of us in consuming the local products. We okay. have to do the same to bring down our food import bill. Okay, excellent. Yes. Hi, Ariana. This one here is um, coffee. Coffee, all right. Coffee. Um, Coffee is usually grown at high altitude, uh -huh. uh, 4,000 feet and so on, but coffee can grow in Belize. Okay. Um, so it's just an experiment. Um, as a collector of plants, we have a coffee. Yes, sir. And that's uh, avocado. All right. Avocado, this one is uh, Kainito. Kainito, I've never heard so about him before. He's star apple. Star apple. Oh, okay, all right. The English name, yeah. You see that you have a... <laughs> Have a, um, a whole orchard of kuhun trees over there, man. Yes, yes, that's the original how it looks. Okay. Um, during the time of the Maya. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, so be careful so, you walk with the kuhun hole and so on. Yeah. So 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 there's a there's a diverse uh, number of trees here on a small acreage of land. Yes. And you said about three acres of this property is yours, no? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, 
My dad started farming around 1972. Okay. Um, and before he passed, he did a subdivision, and each child has three acres. So this is my three acres here, and um, these are some of the plants that I collected. This is a custard apple. Uh huh. Custard apple. It's a cocoon tree over there that's loaded. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. it has, you could make oil out of it. Yes. Um, inside has a white meat like um, like a coconut. So it's, it's a thick shell. Um, I think there's a factory in um, a factory <laughs> close to um, boom. I, 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 yeah, I saw a sign yes, yes. up there. This is a banana here that is red. Most of the banana, you tell where they go. Yes, sir. Most of the banana we know is um, yellow. Uh -huh. This is a red banana. Apple it's, banana, right? Um, they call it. Yeah, mm -hmm. Jamaica red. Uh, I think. Jamaica red. Okay. Yeah. And this one is a crabo. Alright. It's a huge crabo. Like if you see the size of the leaf. Yes. The size of the crabo. Wow. So we trimmed it so it doesn't grow too high. Alright. Um, so maybe next year or the year after we expect it to be bearing some fruit. Alright. And so can you can you propagate that from um cutting or only from seed? The crabo? Uh-huh. Um, from seed primarily. Okay. Um, here we have some dwarf coconut. Yes, sir. Some dwarf coconut, mango, lychee, breadfruit, blogo. All right. Um, this is corn that was planted this year. Okay. Um, this is a grafted mango. Let's see what variety. Golden giant. Golden big, giant. Big mango. Wow. Um, it's sweet when it's green also. Wow. Then we have some pumpkin. Some pumpkin. This, this one is kit. All right. Kit mango. This um, in some African countries it is exported. Wow. It's a delicious mango and it's a. Um, it doesn't bear the same time. Most of our mango bear in May and June. Yes. This one, is, I'm not sure if it's early or it's late. So when others don't have mango, this, this one, one has. No. Have. Okay. And then we have some sweet potato. Uh huh. This is the sweet potato. So we just um, mixing. Yes. Mixing a lot of fruits in here and. Um, so every time you come, there's something to harvest. Yes, sir. There's something to harvest. Ground food, cassava, cocoa, yams, those um, are... Then there are some medicinal plants. This is a uh, sursi. Yeah. Sursi, like um, when I was younger, and ants used to bite me. Yes. Um, my mom would prepare this. Um, so it helps with healing of the skin. Wow. Um, if you if you um apply it on your if, skin, no? If, if you drink the, if you drink it. Drink the tea. Okay. Yes, yes. Um, these mangoes I'm not sure what variety, but if it was a delicious mango, we planted the seed. Alright. And we have it growing here. Um, this is a rosewood. Rosewood. Um, a very well, special yeah, wood yeah. Um, for making furniture. Okay. Um, a lot of it is being harvested in the Toledo district and yeah. exported to China. China, eh? Yeah. Okay. And then here is a breadfruit. All right. It has survived the dry season. Nice. So it has some shoots. And this breadfruit is yellow inside. Wow. Um, That's a different variety yes, yes. than the one that it's I commonly see around then. Most of them white inside. So this is yellow inside. Okay. Um, it's a delicious breadfruit. Nice. So, so in a few years, this plot of land will be able to take care of you. We hope so. We hope so. <laughs> All right. We hope so. so. That's what we are preparing. Yes, John. Thank you, brother. All right, not a problem.